Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new And if you do follow me, you do know that I moved to my first apartment in December And I did do a whole like moving vlog slash unpacking vlog Um, and I said that I would update you guys when my apartment was pretty much like fully decorated and everything So that's what I'm showing you guys today And I also got some cute new skincare stuff from Ulta yesterday that I really want to show you guys Uh, just because it's super cute, so I'm going to show you guys that too Before we get started, don't forget forget to subscribe down below and also hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment with your favorite color so actually some of the stuff I got from Ulta was like makeup so I wanted to show you guys these are my favorite lashes right now then I got this pillow lip solid serum in this color I haven't tried it yet so I don't know if I like it and literally look how cute that is it's like the Animal Crossing ColourPop collaboration, and they actually didn't have a lot of stuff, but I did get this. It's like a little green eyeshadow moment, and I'm obsessed with it, so I can't wait to try it. So I'm actually going to wash my face and try some of the uh, skincare stuff I got because I haven't washed my face today yet. I've already tried these things, so I got this from Tony Moly. It's Cat's Perfect Night Mask. I tried it last night, and it's super hydrating. You like... It's like a thicker moisturizer and you just put it on and sleep in it and oh my god my skin mm, it felt so good it literally looks like i already like did my skincare today but i haven't done anything i also use this from the same brand the eye contour stick and it's supposed to illuminate and moisturize your eyes and i really like this and then i also tried this from peach slices it's called gold glow priming serum with 24 karat gold and it basically is just like very glowy and then these are the other things i got so i did try this last night it's the peach slices water crystal peeling mask and it's supposed to be calming and hydrating it was okay i feel like it didn't dry enough when i tried to peel it off so it was still like stuck to my skin but look oh my god that was almost really bad i did want to try okay so i got this from the same brand tony moly i'm green tea hydro burst um, morning mask but it's like the afternoon so i kind of don't want to do that i want to do this one really bad okay it's the peach slices snail rescue intensive wash off mask with 95 percent snail mucin concentrate i've never heard of this but it's basically like you know like the slime that snails have it's that it's literally 95 percent that it's so weird i'm gonna wash my face real quick and then i'm going to apply the snail rescue wash off mask i'm so nervous because it's snail mucin literally um but I think it'll be good. I wash my face with Cetaphil every morning on this spinning brush to help really cleanse my skin. My camera decided to fall into the sink while I was washing my face and always pat your skin dry, never rub. And then I used a toner. I used the Pixi Glow Tonic Toner. Always let your toner dry before applying any serums. And now it's time to put snail mucus on my face. It was pretty hard to smooth onto my skin, as you can see. Um, but after I got the hang of it, it wasn't too bad. It's just more stubborn than most face masks. All right, you guys, so I finished uh, cleansing and toning, and I have the snail face mask on. And it feels like, it doesn't feel weird, okay, but like the texture was very like, it was very like, like jelly. And it was really hard to like get like smooth onto my skin if that makes sense like you can see there's like snail slime chunks but i think like i'm just weirded out at the fact that there is snail slime on my face but apparently it's really good for your skin so i will let you know how my skin feels when we wash it off i am going to start giving you my apartment tour now because i have to let this sit for 15 minutes before i could do like the rest of my skincare routine so i will show you my apartment and then we'll finish my skincare routine all right so i'll show you from like when you first walk into my apartment so this is what you see when you first walk into my apartment i have this like closet door which is so messy literally don't judge me this is my front door i have a little ring doorbell camera and then this like little reef around it because i think it's cute and if you hear that noise in the background it's my heater running my heater is really loud for some reason then here i have a bunch of masks hanging up and this cute little marble gold clock this is ayla's little purse where i take her places this is what my couch looks like, um, and that's a little doggy ramp for Ayla so she can get up. I have potty pads in like the spots that she likes to go potty in the house so that she goes on them instead of my carpet. We have a bad bitches only sign, a cute little orchid. These lights, I'm so obsessed with. They look so cute behind the couch. This is my uh, little coffee table, and it's cute. This is Ayla's water bottle. I spray her when she misbehaves and like the remotes and stuff, coasters, all that. This hoverboard, I have no place for it. This is the other place Ayla likes to go potty, so I put potty pad there. I have my keyboard here. 
This actually has Ayla's toy box, but I put this over, otherwise she'll just put toys all over the apartment and it's messy. This is my table that has like, it has my Nintendo Switch, obviously. I framed my fake ID. <laughs> I'm 21 now. Um, I have my Xbox, I have Ayla's doggy bed under there, which is new, I like just put it there. And then my TV's on this wall, right across from the couch. And then I also recently got these little shelvings from Target. So it came with like multiple like sizes, which I thought was so cute and unique. So I hung, I didn't hang, I placed some like fake plants up there, pictures. I put like the Swarovski stuff that Levi got me here, Vivian Westwood bag. Same thing here. And then I have this shoe rack right here. It's really messy because Ayla loves to chew on shoes. Here's my Roomba, which needs to be ran, obviously, because there's stuff on my carpet. This is garbage. This whole bag is garbage in it, like recycling, but I haven't thrown it away yet. Fridge tour. I kind of organized my fridge yesterday, so there's like space. So here, it's kind of messy right here. I have this thing to like place spoons down when I'm cooking, butter, spices. My boyfriend got me this, and I thought it was so cute, like a little vacation piggy bank you know, the goods. Um, I have all my wine in this like little wine holder, which I, it took me forever to find a wine holder that only held like three. Like I wanted one that held three to five, no more. Cause obviously I don't have like a lot of counter space. Now I was like, I'm, I also live alone. Like I don't have more than like three bottles of wine at my apartment at one time usually. And all the wine racks that I was seeing were like 10 to 15. I was like, that's way too much. But I found this at home goods, so I'm really happy. Um, and I got this cute little pink wine glasses from home goods as well and these makeup brushes my mom left in my apartment so i had to give those back to her but this is like my little fish tank area my apple watch charges up here um this is my fish tank i have three little silver fish i have a guppy and i have a beta and i am planning on getting two more guppies because he used to have other guppy friends but they passed away unfortunately and then here i keep fruit um for smoothies my smoothie maker blender thing toaster keurig Paper towels, knives, everything. So behind these doors is my washer and dryer, which is so nice that it's hidden like that. And I'm so lucky that I have a washer and dryer in my unit. That was like a must for me. So I was looking everywhere for bar stools. And I just, I needed a bar stool that was like circular, like round like that at the bottom. Cause the ones with the legs wouldn't like hold up well on my carpet. And these are so cute. And bar stools are so expensive. If you've looked for bar stools, they are super expensive. These were $70 each. So I got these for $140 and they're really good quality and they're cute and they're black. Like they will match match every apartment I ever move into like if I want to change up my aesthetic these will always match I also have a lazy Susan right here I just switched out and lit the candle I always put candles here and I light them and I also usually have a vase with flowers in them because my boyfriend gets me flowers every time he visits um, but the ones that he gave me last time died so it's just the candle right now when you're leaving like my living room there's this little hallway area this is another closet look how small it is it's so thin but it's really cute I have this like little white rug and then you get this big mirror. This mirror I got from Home Goods. I had to go switch out the batteries for this so I could show you, but I also have this cute little love sign above my mirror that I think is just so adorable. Like, how cute is that? Then you walk over here and you have my bathroom, which I always have a candle lit in here as well. I have this cute little pink rug, and then I have this white, like, microfiber, microfiber uh, plush bath mat, and this is my shower curtain the little diamond shower hooks. I have this like Chanel painting print thing right here. Pink towels. Right here we have feminine products. We have Versace perfume. We have this spray for, you know, you know. And then we got bad bitch energy right there because period. I also have this cute little fake orchid plant in here. This is a candle that I currently have lit. It's Miami cocktail. If you struggle with like counter space on your bathroom, I highly recommend getting one of these. I got this from Home Goods. It's just like a little corner shelf and I put all of my products there. Like look, I would literally take up all my counter space if I did not have that. Like I take up all my counter space already. So I mean, that I love that. And then I got this for like me and my boyfriend's toothbrush, face wash. I have these little ones too. Um, but this is my bathroom and I also have this closet. I keep my towels there. I have all of my skincare like face masks are on this shelf. Then I have like shaving products, hair dye randomly. And oh my God, don't even talk to me about this mess. This, that's just a mess. And then I also have this print on this wall. So it's like right by the mirror and it's super cute. And then recently I got this. A uh, little whiteboard calendar. It was 10 bucks from Target and I literally just like put all of my appointments there and I put, you know, just my goals and stuff and it's really motivating to see because like, you go into the bathroom every day, obviously, so you always see it. Okay, now we're gonna go into my room. 
this is my bedroom. I have like a little skylight. It's daytime, so it looks more vibey at night. I have like this little jewelry box mirror, a little rug, my vanity, which I got this vanity off of Amazon and I love it. I could link it for you guys if you want. And then I have this little canopy over my bed. I have a lot of stuffed animals and they're kind of like falling off right now. Ayla! Oh my god, my dog was on my bed sleeping and then she wasn't there anymore, but here she is. So I got really nervous. Say hi, Ayla. Can you say hello? <clears throat> so that's my dog. She's a mini long-haired dachshund. And I also have these little color-changing lights behind my bed on this wall. I really like it. It's like color changing so you could do like tons of different colors but I, I typically like having it on purple but like this mint green is really cute too over here I literally never use this thing but I have a nightstand right here and it has like little butterflies like underneath the glass it's really cute I'm obsessed with it and then I have this lamp that I have not taken the tag off of yet this is from home goods and it has this like little diamonds and it's gold and it's super cute but I also found like the matching mini version like the uh like desk lamp of that it's literally the exact same but i found it at a different home goods and it's on my desk this is my desk so this is where i do work and i um, do homework and school and stuff this is like my little pink bunny chair and so this desk is actually just like plain white and it's really old like as you can see it used to be on my brother's but then i got like this three dollar like wallpaper from shein and i got this marble and i just put it on top and it makes it look so much nicer and then here i have my iMac I have an orchid here and an orchid here and I got this little rose that my boyfriend gave me and I have this mirror right here um, Just because I had it and I didn't want to get rid of it because I thought it was cute So I just put it in the corner and then yesterday at Ulta I also got this oil diffuser and Last night I slept with it on and I did lavender today I'm doing lemon because I'm working today and lemon's supposed to like help with product product uh, productivity i can never say that um so yeah and then i have my planner i used to use this religiously now i don't even use my paper planner that much anymore but like i'm gonna try doing it again and i also have this by my bed and i got this yesterday it's the elixir of dreams pillow mist and it has valerian and lavender in it and you just spray it on your pillows before bed it's supposed to help you sleep so i've been trying that out and then we have my closet i do have led lights in here but it also has its own like overhead light this is my closet it's very messy very full i have another shoe rack in here a little rug there's a hanger on the floor and i had to get these like little drawers because i didn't have space for all my stuff and then even then i still don't have space for all my stuff because some of it's on there. I don't spend too much time in my closet, so I'm like, you know what? If it's a little disorganized, I'm fine with it. Just like my pantry, I don't really care if that's disorganized that much. But I also have this little mirror with diamonds on it. It is so cute. And then I have this like little table space. Honestly, it doesn't serve any purpose except just to put stuff on there, like random miscellaneous things. Like I have this love bear that my boyfriend got me, I think for Valentine's Day last year. And I have like my scrunchies hanging, air freshener, my designer boxes. So I just have some random things right here. And then lastly, I have these like little lights hanging. So at night, like, oh, it fell down. Oh my gosh, it fell down. I need Levi to fix that. Um, but yeah, I have these little plants that my mom gave me. I have not been watering them. But yeah, I have a rose bush right here. So hopefully in the spring, they'll uh, bloom. Ayla's kennel is out here. No, I never put her out in the kennel outside ever, ever, ever. I just have it because I never put her in there and I don't want it in my apartment. And then here I have some storage, which is really nice. I have like my Christmas tree in here. I have like the box for my TV, a puppy gate that Ayla was able to jump over. So that's useless, but I'm keeping it anyway, just in case I ever need it in the future. But yeah, I have just like storage right here, which is really nice. And that's basically it for my apartment tour. I still need to wash off this face mask and then finish the rest of my skincare for you guys, but I really like my apartment, genuinely, I really do. Um, however, I do wish I got a two bedroom because like, for me personally, I don't like working and like relaxing in the same space. So like, since my desk is in my room, it's just frustrating so I'm like, uh, like I just feel like it's not like a peaceful energy in there all the time. So most of the time I actually relax on my couch and I'll watch TikToks on my couch, watch TV out here. I typically don't even relax in my room anymore because out here I never work, right? Like, I mean, maybe I'll film videos, but like I'm not like doing tax stuff or homework like on the couch. So 
that's my one thing is I do wish I got a two bedroom and also when I moved in when I signed the lease they told me I'd be getting a unit with hardwood floors and it turns out I got carpet and they wouldn't like rip out the carpet for me even though I like offered to pay them to do it and stuff so that's the other annoying thing um, I definitely think in the future I'll be moving to a little bit of a nicer apartment I was pretty frugal with like how much money I wanted to spend on rent because I am 21 when I moved I was 20 um, and I just didn't want to spend all my money on rent so but yeah, let's go wash off this uh, s uh, snail, snail slime face mask and I'll show you guys the rest of my routine. It was really difficult to wash the face mask off so I ended up having to use a towel. Then I go in with this vitamin C, B, and E facial serum. Then I use a hyaluronic acid serum which is amazing for your skin. Then I use this vitamin C serum which is a little thicker than the other ones. And then after I rub that in, I use the Tony Moly Cat's Perfect Eye Contour Stick under and above my eye and I love it. Then I go in with a Gold Glow Priming Serum with 24 karat gold from Peach Slices and rub that all over my face and it makes such a big difference. Then one of the most important steps in my routine is I use this retinal cream and I only use a tiny bit after my serums have dried. You don't want to use too much. Then I decide to go ahead and apply my Hydrogel Face Mask, which are my favorite face masks. Alright, so since this is going to be where I end the video, I will show you guys what moisturizers I use. Something that actually my neighbor told me about. She's really into like skincare and stuff. I will put her like Instagram on the screen so you guys can go check her out because she has tons of like skincare tips. So this is called a hydrogel mask. Basically what you do is you use this after you've done everything but right before moisturizer. So you apply all your serums, everything like that. But before you moisturize, you put this on for like 30 minutes because it helps set all of your serums. Um, and you can really use any hydrogel mask. It looks like this and it has like two parts and it's kind of sticky. It's like a jello and it just sticks onto your face and I love it. After this, I will be using these two moisturizers. So I use this face cream right here from the same collection. I use this eye cream right on my eye bags and on my upper eyelids. And then after that, I will most likely be using this again, the Cat's Perfect Night Mask because I think it's the only eye, um, night mask I purchased. Yeah, no, I don't think I purchased any other night masks so I will be using this one tonight I just love it it just keeps you totally moisturized but that will be the end of this video if you have any questions about you know living on your own questions about my apartment decor where anything is from any skincare questions please leave them down below and I will try and answer as many as I can and if you have any other video ideas or suggestions please let me know and I love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe like and comment and go follow me on all my other socials add me on snapchat follow me on Instagram follow me on TikTok. I don't use Twitter and that's it thank you bye